Mars colonization is moving closer to reality, and a key breakthrough has just been achieved. Chinese scientists have discovered a method to produce building materials directly from Martian soil, eliminating the need to transport heavy construction supplies from Earth. By melting Martian soil, or its Earth-based equivalent, basalt, these researchers have developed a process that could transform how we construct habitats on Mars. This discovery is crucial because it offers a sustainable, cost-effective solution for building a future on the Red Planet. In this video, we'll break down how this process works, why it's so important, and how it could shape the future of Mars exploration. Stay tuned and let's explore this fascinating topic together. In situ resource utilization, ISRU is a game-changing concept in space exploration. It refers to the practice of using local resources to sustain human missions on other planets, reducing the need to transport materials from Earth. This is especially important for Mars, where the cost of shipping construction materials through space would be astronomically high. Instead of sending tons of steel or concrete, scientists are focusing on harnessing what's already on Mars its soil. Chinese researchers, led by Ma Peng Cheng, have taken a significant step in this direction. Although we don't have Martian soil samples yet, the team used basalt, which has a similar chemical and mineral composition, to simulate Martian soil. By analyzing this material, they found that it could be melted at around 1,360 degrees centigrade to produce an amorphous, glass-like substance. This substance could be transformed into strong, durable building materials that are essential for constructing habitats on Mars. What makes ISRU so crucial for future Mars missions is its potential to drastically reduce launch mass and costs. Every kilogram sent from Earth requires enormous amounts of fuel, and by utilizing resources on Mars, we bypass this challenge entirely. Furthermore, using local resources allows for greater flexibility in mission planning. Instead of waiting for supply missions from Earth, astronauts could create shelters, tools, and infrastructure directly on Mars. ISRU could also serve as a model for future deep space missions, such as colonizing the moons of Jupiter or Saturn. The use of ISRU addresses one of the biggest logistical challenges in space colonization transportation. Instead of relying on Earth's resources, future Martian settlers could use the planet's natural materials, making missions more sustainable and cost-effective. This approach also opens up new possibilities for long-term habitation, as ISRU could lead to the development of entire cities on Mars. With this method, we're moving closer to building a self-sustaining human presence on another planet. The heart of this innovation lies in the melt drawing process, a technique that converts Martian soil into practical construction materials. The research team simulated Martian conditions by using basalt and applying extreme heat about 1,360 degrees centigrade to melt the soil. The molten material was then drawn into thin fibers, creating a high-strength, lightweight composite that could be used to build everything from habitats to infrastructure. These fibers are particularly valuable for space construction because of their mechanical properties. Fiber-reinforced composites are known for their strength and flexibility, qualities that are crucial in an environment like Mars, where materials need to withstand extreme temperature changes, low gravity, and cosmic radiation. The fibers are also non-corrosive and have excellent thermal resistance, making them well-suited for long-term use in a harsh Martian environment. Additionally, their ability to endure the planet's vast temperature fluctuations, from freezing nights to warmer days, adds to their potential for longevity in construction. The researchers discovered that by controlling the speed of the melt drawing process, they could create fibers with a denser atomic structure, making them even more resistant to external damage. This means the slower the drawing speed, the tougher and more resilient the fibers become. Such adaptability in production is a major advantage when considering the varied applications for these materials, from structural support to insulation. What's especially remarkable is that the team simulated Mars' low gravity and thin atmosphere during the experiments. These conditions, which are very different from Earth, didn't hinder the production of the fibers, proving that this process could be implemented on Mars itself. The melt drawing technique could be scaled up for mass production, providing future missions with a steady supply of building materials made directly from Martian soil. This is a crucial step towards sustainable human settlement on Mars, 
as it drastically reduces the need for Earth-based resources. By minimizing reliance on Earth, this process accelerates the timeline for establishing permanent bases and infrastructure on Mars. The potential applications of this technology are vast. The fiber-reinforced composites produced through the melt-drawing process could be used to construct various elements of a Martian base, from the walls of habitats to structural supports for research stations. These materials, made from Martian soil, would be highly suitable for the planet's unique environment, providing natural insulation and protection from radiation and micrometeorites. Martian dust storms and extreme weather conditions, which could pose a threat to Earth-based construction materials, would be less of an issue with these specially designed composites. Beyond basic construction, these composites could be used to build roads, landing pads, and even vehicles. Because the materials are lightweight and durable, they are ideal for use in Mars' low-gravity environment, where traditional Earth-based construction methods would be inefficient. The fibers' resistance to wear and their ability to withstand temperature fluctuations make them perfect for long-term use in Martian conditions. This could lead to the development of entire transportation networks and storage facilities, all built using local resources, drastically reducing the need for external supplies. One particularly exciting application is the possibility of using these materials to create agricultural infrastructure, such as greenhouses, where food could be grown. By using locally sourced, durable materials, Martian settlers could construct sustainable living environments that support life and food production, ensuring long-term survival. These greenhouses would be able to withstand the harsh Martian climate while providing the necessary protection for crops to thrive. The ability to produce building materials on Mars opens the door to a future where human missions are more self-sufficient. Instead of relying on periodic supply missions from Earth, future Martian settlers could use the planet's resources to build infrastructure and tools. This level of autonomy could revolutionize space exploration, making it possible to stay on Mars for extended periods or even permanently. Moreover, this method could serve as a model for future space exploration, potentially enabling the colonization of other planets or moons in our solar system. The scalability and flexibility of this technology make it a critical stepping stone for humanity's long-term presence in space. In this video, we have learned about the groundbreaking research by Chinese scientists that enables the production of building materials directly from Martian soil. This discovery could change the future of Mars exploration providing a cost-effective and sustainable way to build habitats and infrastructure on the Red Planet. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.